I have your season-ending grades, AFC and NFC North, and we will start with Minnesota. You may find this unexpected, but I'm giving you a B due to the setback of losing your starting quarterback. Had he remained healthy, I firmly believe you would have triumphed over the Broncos, Raiders, Bengals, and Bears, and maybe added another win or two in your last three games. If we would have done that, we would have made the playoffs and maybe even won a division. And if you'd done that as an added bonus, you would have also kept Green Bay out of the playoffs. Even when we get a good grade, it still somehow brings with it pain. I also subscribe to the notion that you may be cursed, so you do have my sympathy. Chicago, while you did show potential, there were times when you seemed like you didn't belong on an NFL field. If you do draft Caleb Williams, you better hope he succeeds and Justin Fields does not go nuclear on his new team. Your fans may riot. I'm going to be honest, I'm surprised they haven't rioted already. Well, that's an area of expertise for our fan base, you know, if your fan base needs a few pointers. Chicago, I'm giving you a D plus. On to Green Bay. While I still will not apologize for saying you'd only have five wins, I will speak from the heart. You started off slow and impressively turned things around securing a playoff berth. And though you did lose in the playoffs, you put forth a valiant effort. If you go into next season with this type of momentum, we could easily see you in the Super Bowl. I'm giving you a well-deserved A. I don't know. Would that A happen to stand for apology? And now it's a B-. minus. You should learn to keep your mouth shut. On to Detroit. It's just a joke, man. I'm going to give you a scenario, and I want you to tell me what you would do. It's 4th and 13. You're down by 3, and there's 14 and a half minutes left in the first quarter, and you're on... Yeah, we're going to go for it. Dude, you don't even know what your field position is yet. Between the end zones? Uh, obviously. Then we're going to go for it. Where's Jared? Let's do this. Yeah, Detroit, I'm going to ask you to settle down. This is a hypothetical. Hypothetical. Schmypothetical. I don't care. We're still going to go for it. And somehow that does not surprise me. I'm giving you an A because you should have been in the Super Bowl, but if you want to hoist that Lombardi trophy one day, you should consider taking points when you can in big games, especially when you're protecting a lead onto Pittsburgh. You really know how to make a 10-win season feel like a lost season. You've made the playoffs somehow, and outside of a few delusional folks within your fan base, I don't think anyone expected you to win. You'll probably repeat the same pattern again next season. B minus on to Cincinnati. Wait, do you think we'll do better if we sign Russell Wilson? Perhaps, but Russell Wilson now seems like the thing you would get if you merged Kenny Pickett with Mitch Trubisky. So maybe stick with Mason Rudolph and see what you got there. I don't know how any of these things make you any better, by the way. Cincinnati, you did manage nine wins despite the Joe Burrow injury, but I'm giving you a C because a team of your caliber starting the season at one and three with two divisional losses is as unacceptable as... Well, anything Carolina does. I'm literally sitting here minding my own business. And as a side note, swapping out your turf for the same turf they use at MetLife Stadium is a horrible idea, and your players would likely be safer playing in a sandbox filled with thumbtacks and broken glass. Oh, maybe we should consider changing to that instead. On to Cleveland, who lost Nick Chubb and then signed an elderly gentleman off the couch to play quarterback and then somehow became the hottest team heading into the playoffs. By the way, this just proves the NFL is not scripted because there is no one creative enough to come up with something as ridiculous as that. Can't really get on you for that. That playoff loss considering the circumstances and I might get some pushback on this but I'm giving you an A based on perseverance. On to Baltimore. Great season I guess but how Todd Munkin didn't know enough to pound the ball against Kansas City in the playoffs still continues to baffle me. It is slowly becoming one of Earth's greatest mysteries. You playing as undisciplined and sloppy as you did in your biggest game of the year is as unacceptable as well, anything Carolina does. Okay, seriously, they're minding my own business. Well, maybe you should be using this time to better yourself. <laughs> Obviously, I don't know how to do that, so... Baltimore, I decided it's time to take a tough love approach with you. That's why I am bumping you down a full grade from an A to a B. Okay, I guess, but all you're gonna do is piss my fans off. More than you did this season? I highly doubt that. Okay, that's class. AFC and NFC East, your grades will be handed out next time, and I want you to be prepared because it will get ugly. Especially for you, Dallas.